I'm Kyle Rhodes. My practice is in Lakeway, Texas, just outside of Austin. I opened as a solo practitioner in 2010. Um, it, my practice quickly grew into more of a refractive cataract practice, and that's the vast majority of what I do at this point. Um, I'm still a pretty small office, 10, 15 employees, uh, and operate in an outpatient surgery center that is nearby. So the, the reason I got started with this lens uh, is I do a high volume of, of presbyopia correcting lens implants and no matter how many in a row you would get happy with diffractive you know, multifocal technology, um, every once in a while you get somebody who's, who's really just not satisfied with the quality of vision. Uh, and and you know, those are the ones you remember. Uh, you could do 20 in a row that are super happy and then you get one patient that just seems to really hold up your week. Uh, and so I was looking for something that would have a higher percentage chance of, um, you know, like the word success, but for me, patient satisfaction is bottom line. Uh, so I, I was really looking forward to getting started early in 2023 uh, with the lens and it was within five to ten eyes that I knew this technology was an improvement over everything I had previously used. With the Clearview 3, I have started to kind of branch out from, from quote, pristine eyes. Uh, I've used it in uh, map dot fingerprint patients, uh, epiretinal membrane patients, um, mild, even some mild um, early kind of macular changes. Uh, and been quite satisfied post LASIK patients, myopic, uh, post hyperopic LASIK patient. I have not used it in RK at this point, um, but I have been quite satisfied with the quality of vision. The patients have, have been happy with their vision, even with mild uh, pathology. With the Clearview 3, I have yet to have a patient who did not want the lens in their second eye. I have implanted it in patients who years ago have a, a different presbyopia correcting in the first eye, and so far they all prefer their Clearview 3 eye. When I first started using the lens, I did, uh, as instructed, enlarge the incisions. I'm, I'm used to doing about a 2.2 or a 2.3 and I would enlarge the incision. Uh, now I don't enlarge the incision I, at, at either of our uh, facilities, so a 2.2 or a 2.3. Um, it's, it's a very, very soft lens, and as for me, as long as it is inserted slowly and you, you, can, you can orient it correctly so that you know where the near portion of the, of the um, segmented lens is, uh, it's quite easy. I actually spend a little bit of extra time uh, on the operating room table trying to orient the lens on the patient's visual axis. Uh, when I first started using the lens, I did orient them all where the near, the ad segment uh, was towards the nose, you know, kind of down and in towards the nose. And I have since adapted to trying to ensure that the visual axis is through the distance vision. Uh, portion of the lens, regardless of if the ad segment is uh, temporal, superior temporal, um, and I find that it does vary widely uh, from patient to patient. I think that the fact that the lens comes in quarter diopters has most definitely uh, made us more accurate at hitting our target. Um, the a lot of the credit, I think, goes to Lens Tech as well, and they're very willing to help with any uh, complicated cal or even a, even a basic calculation. Um, I still communicate with Lens Tech on some of my post LASIK patients, post hyperopic LASIK patients, uh, where I, I get a, a wide variety of uh, of lens powers predicted by different calculators. I think that the, the fact that it's a non-diffractive uh, lens, the distance vision is far superior to uh, any of our other pres or, our diffractive presbyopia correcting lenses. 
uh, and uh, the the near vision component is uh, gets a focal point much closer than our existing extended depth of focus lenses do. So a, a much higher percentage chance of complete spectacle independence. Uh, in our practice, it's been nearly 100% our spectacle independent full time. Your patients will be happier. You've got to do it. Um, get out of your comfort zone a little bit, even if you use the same lens for years and years. Your patients will be much more satisfied with the quality of vision, and they'll send you uh, all of their friends. Um, I, I made the jump in, I think it was March of 2023, and like I said earlier, within probably five eyes, I knew that this lens provided better outcomes. Uh, than what I've been using for the past 10 years. Uh, and it, it can be difficult to change your discussion with patients. You have to lengthen your preoperative discussion with patients if you want to discuss all the lenses. You have to change your website. You have to change your marketing materials, but it's 100% worth it because the, the chair time post-operatively with this lens is a lot less than with your typical diffractive presbyopic correcting technology. Patients are happy. They don't have as many questions or concerns post-op.